Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope everyone's well today. A few days ago, I posted a video where I made this uh, square for my laser bed. And a couple of viewers, Ben TV4 and Cockatoo Birdman Bill, asked where did I get these magnetic tie-down pins. So I added a link to the uh, description where they could get them. But I realized when I looked it back up that a pack of six of those cost between $25 and $40. And that's pretty steep. So uh, I, I got mine when I first got my laser. I may have added them on, but uh, I think it was part of the bundle. So I thought we would make some out of scrap. And they work pretty good. They don't fit in the hole. They don't go in the hole. They go on the little span of metal between the holes. And not where it double laps, but on the single pieces. And it holds it down pretty good. So uh, let's jump in light burn and uh, set us up a file and cut some out. Okay, we're going to start by grabbing a square and just draw out a rectangle and let it go. Click your selector tool, go over to the shape properties tab to radius, and go up to about six. Select our rectangle, go up top, make sure your lock is off. Make this a width of six millimeters and a height of 25. Remember you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can hold it down and move the entire canvas around. Okay, we want to select it. Control D to duplicate and pull it out. And then we will duplicate one more time for a top piece and rotate counterclockwise with the comma key. You can scroll in close. You can see the cursor change, grab that edge and snap it into the other one. Then you can select both and go to horizontal alignment and center and it will line them up. If you don't have snap turned on, go up to settings uh, and make sure snap to object, snap to grid is turned on and you will be okay. Uh, you can select both of these, go up to tools Boolean assistant and uh, a Boolean assistant will show you the result of uh, these actions and what we want is union and click OK which we could also get here on the left. Now we want to select this top piece and make it a width of 50 and a height of five. And we're just going to set it on top and cover up that hump right there. And that should be covered up. Then we're going to grab a circle and just draw out an oblong shape. Click your selector tool pull it up and we want this to be no more than a width of six altogether. I'm just going to pull that on up in there, select it all and make sure it's six and it is. And then we can use union, we'll use it over here this time and put that together and then we will select everything and we can use union again Union's for two shapes, weld is for multiple shapes. And now I will try to draw a straight line with the pencil tool from down here. Up to about there. Left click, right click to let go. I'm going to back up with control Z and do that again that just didn't feel right. I'm starting here at the bottom straight up left click right click and click the selector tool 
then grab everything and group it together. If you don't group that line in, uh, your pen will cut out, drop, and then the laser will try to cut it. So be sure to group it in. And that is about it. So let's set up about six of these. So select it. Go to the array tool on the X columns. I've got a space of uh, two, which is fine. And I'm just going to go up two on the X columns and up one on the Y. And there we go. So we have a set of six to cut. So let's, uh, let's jump into laser and cut these out. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, we're ready to cut these out. I'm using a 5 millimeter Luon plywood. It's a hardwood underlayment, and it's really good for projects. You can pick it up at your local hardware. I'll drop a link for where I got it from. Uh, I think you'll enjoy using it for projects. But you could also cut these on 3 millimeter basswood plywood or whatever scrap you've got laying around. All right, let's send the code on over and cut these out. Well, it still cut the line after it dropped, so apparently I've done something wrong. But as long as they work, we'll be okay. Let's pull these out of the way and try these new ones. And they appear to work fine. So there you go. You can make some uh, homemade tie downs and save yourself a little money. If you uh, give this a try and you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll get you an answer. If you have any questions about uh, anything I've got posted, just let me know and I'll uh, get back to you. I really appreciate you folks taking time to watch. It does help the channel grow. Uh, after you make these vectors, you can uh, save them in your art library. And if you don't have one, I will drop a link to a video for how to create an art library. And you can just print them up anytime you need to. So uh, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.